Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm showing my recommended uh, shortwave uh, radios for 2024. Now, what it is, is that I was asked in one of my other videos um, saying, you know, what, um, you know, what radios would I uh, recommend, um, especially for someone that, you know, just likes to uh, go out um, and, uh, you know, take the radio with them um, and have a listen every now and again. So these three here, they are my recommended uh, radios. Now, before I begin, there's conditions to, uh, you know, me recommending these radios. First one, they have to be um, under 100 British pounds. OK, the second one, uh, the second thing I want to point out is there have to be radios that I've got. And the third one um, is that um, they um, have to be, um, you know, radios that, you know, I would say has got um, the most features available and will represent value for money, in my opinion. Now, other radios that I would recommend um, that are not here are the Radi uh, Wow R108 and the Kodosan DX286. Uh, and I think there's the other version, the um, SR286. Uh, um, and by the way, um, the Kodosan uh, DX and the SR286 and the Radi Wow R108, uh, R108, they do not have single sideband. Okay. Two out of these three radios do have single sideband. So if you're the, um, you're the type of person that likes to listen to um, amateur ham radio operators, utility stations, and other transmissions in single sideband, then the Radi Wow, the Kodosan, will not have a single sideband, and you won't be able to listen to them. But like I said, two out of these uh, three radios will, and I'll point them out to you. So the first one here is my favorite radio because um, this is the best all-rounder, okay? This is the XH Data D80, uh, D808, also known as the Siwadon D808, okay? What I like about this uh, radio, like I said, because it's a great all-rounder, it's got decent performance on FM, it has RDS to identify stations on the uh, FM band, has very good shortwave performance, has very good uh, medium wave performance. Long wave is lacking, but this is more or less the same with uh, most, um, almost all uh, Chinese uh, radios. The battery life is all right. It's okay. Um, it takes um, the 18650 uh, battery, okay? And if it runs out or something, you can easily buy one um, out there on the internet. And you can charge this radio via USB, okay? Um, hey, so there you go. That's the uh, USB Um connection there and yeah it has single sideband um, to listen to hams utilities and uh, so on upper sideband and lower sideband this goes from uh, 153 kilohertz all the way up to um, I think it's 30,000 kilohertz or 29999 kilohertz or something like that okay so very good coverage in there um, it's got FM mode um, as well like I said it's got FM AM and of course, like I mentioned, the single sideband modes. All right, so that's the XH Data D808. And like I said, this is my favorite one because it's a great old one rounder. And it's also very portable. You can take this easily in most pockets and your clothing items, coats, trousers, uh, tops, etc. And yeah, and I really like it. The only bad I would say is that you can see that there's uh, rust starting to be displayed here on the speaker grill and the paint finish is starting to come off. But, um, you know, uh, but in any case, this radio, you know, it still works. It's still great for me. And I'll still uh, continue to, uh, you know, take it out with me when I do my outdoor um, DXing or, or when I want to listen to radio outdoors. So that's the XH Data D808. The next one here is the TEF6686. And it's my favorite. Okay. Although it has shortwave, this is my favorite radio for the FM band because it's so sensitive on the FM band. It's got RDS and it's got um, auto bandwidth uh, features, you know, for the uh, FM band in that, it, you know, it can minimize interference um, if you're listening to a station that has station, you know, other stations uh, close to it. OK, so for FM, I highly recommend it, you know, if you're into FM listening or DXing. It also has shortwave, uh, which, um, you know, which is performs really, really well. It's, um, you know, equal, I would say, to the um, uh, the XH data d808 it also has a medium wave and it has long wave just something to bear in mind the xh data d808 um it uh, uses its own internal ferrite uh, ferrite antenna for medium wave and long wave this doesn't have an internal ferrite antenna what the internal ferrite antenna does it receives reception on medium wave and long wave but it also uh, makes the reception cleaner 
right on you know when you you know you're using a ferret antenna for this radio you're going to have to use the telescopic um, antenna this internal telescopic antenna great when you're outdoors and there's no noise about it'll receive more than uh, you know an internal ferret antenna but if you use um, this method indoors you're going to get more noise than the internal ferret antenna so just something to be um, aware of but this radio is absolutely fantastic it's gone uh, down in price um, and like you know like I said unfortunately it doesn't have single sideband okay so this doesn't have single sideband at all if you like listening to hams and uh, utility stations all right but in any case this I would buy exclusively for the FM band if you're mainly an FM DXO listener um, you know so this is something to bear in mind the TEF 6686 oh and by the way about the XH data DA208 it has six band with filters for uh, the short wave, medium wave, and long wave band. It already has one band with fi filter for the uh, FM band, but this one has many, you know, many bandwidth filters for the FM band, like I said. And you can have an auto bandwidth fe feature selection, which is great for, like I said, minimizing interference on the uh, on the FM band when you're listening to a very crowded FM band. And the last one here I want to recommend is the Texan uh, PL330. Now, this here is, I would say, the best, you know, the best in terms of being the cheapest and the best performing radio, uh, shortwave radio you can buy out there. Second to that would be the XH Data D808. What's so good about this is that, um, you know, it's got all right FM performance. The XH Data will be better for this. It doesn't have RDS for the FM band, but okay. So that's something just to bear in mind. Um, and um, shortwave is quite good on this, just a little less. I would say the performance is a little less than the XH Data D808. Uh, Same with the medium wave band as well. This has an internal Farad antenna, by the way, for the medium wave and long wave band. It, performance, again, is a little less than this, than the XH Data D808. But this does have single sideband to listen uh, to uh, hams and uh, utility stations. OK, so that's one thing that's really good. What I the best thing I like about this radio, or the best two things I would say is that it's the most portable. It's such a small radio; it's smaller than the XH Data D808, as you can see there. Fits in you know in almost all pockets, you know, in all items of clothing you have, um, and also as well is the sound um, is very nice indeed. It's got sound that I would say that is best for casual listening. Okay, um, the XH data, I would say the sound on this is best for DXing because um, although it can sound harsher, it has more intelligibility, especially when you listen to a station that has like muddy audio. This one, yeah, you can still listen to a station, it's, it'll still sound good, but it doesn't have quite that audio definition of fidelity like the XH data D808. But for listening to music or for listening casually to a station, this is absolutely fantastic. Okay. And uh, yeah, this one can be charged via USB. Okay, so that's one good thing about this. Okay, another good thing, by the way, and the, and something to point out as well because I haven't said the battery life of all these uh, three radios. This has the best battery life out of all these uh, three radios. Okay, so I would say this one is the best, right? The Texan PL330. This one is the second best, the uh, TEF6686, which, by the way. Uh, I forgot to point out, you can also charge the battery by a, a USB. It's done by a Type-C uh, connection, okay? And this is the third best. This one rounds out um, the quickest, okay? But it's not that bad, really. You, you still get decent battery life um, out of this um, XH Data D808, okay? And, yeah, there you go. That sums up these uh, three radios. And the price, let me just tell you, the XH Data D808 retails for about 60 to 70 British pounds. Convert that to your local currency. It could be different in other countries you're watching from. Okay, so just bearing that in mind. So I'm just going to say the prices in UK prices. This goes for about 60 or 70 British pounds now. And this one you can get between 50 to 60 uh, British pounds. I believe all these three, the, the price that I've given, they're, you know, they're the pricing according to AliExpress. Other places you can get, like for example, this one, um, you can get it on AliExpress, Amazon, uh, eBay. This one I got on AliExpress. Um, and this one I got from um, the Texan PL330, I got from Anonco. Okay, that's, I would say, the best place to get the Texan radios because they have the best prices. Although AliExpress might have a good price on uh, this one too. So there you are. These are three, my three recommended radios for 2024 as requested. If you've got any questions, then leave uh, comments, you know, leave your questions in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.